Uh, this weekend, we're going to see a rare celestial event. I'm meteorologist Samantha Moore, one of your 11 Alive storm trackers, and we are going to see a total lunar eclipse, and it is also going to be a super blood wolf moon total lunar eclipse. It's super because the moon is going to be closer to us than at any other point in its orbit. So that's going to make it seem 30% brighter and up to 14% bigger. So the moon's going to appear bigger and brighter. It'll also have a reddish hue because whenever you have a total lunar eclipse, the light from the sun through the Earth's atmosphere at totality will make it appear reddish, hence the name blood moon and wolf moon because, you know, each month has its own name for the full moon and one of the names for January's full moon is the wolf moon and that's because obviously wolves get a little hungry in the middle of winter and they've been known to howl at the full moon so that is why it is being called a super blood wolf moon and it is going to be a total lunar eclipse this weekend Sunday night and that partial eclipse will begin when it starts being on the outside of the Earth's shadow it'll be around 1033 you'll start to notice that the full moon looks like it's a little bit the orangish, a little bit orangish. Total eclipse begins at 1141 and the maximum eclipse will be just after midnight. So that's when it will appear at its reddest, when it is in the complete shadow of the earth. Then it will continue on. It'll end, that total eclipse will end at around 12. 43. So it is in that period of totality for a little bit more than an hour. That's when it will appear reddish. And then that partial eclipse will end at 150. And then it's all over with. But we were concerned about the weather conditions because we have a frontal system moving in over the weekend. Good news, though, it will have passed through. So the skies will be clear, we do believe, and it should be great viewing. However, the weather conditions are not going to be great at all. So even though the sky conditions are going to be ideal, the weather conditions are going to be brutally cold because we're expecting temperatures at midnight around 26 degrees. But check out the winds we're expecting out of the northwest, some 25 to 30 miles per hour. So that puts us at a wind chill factor that feels like temperature of 12 degrees. So if you want to get out and see the reddish hue of the total lunar eclipse on Sunday night, you better dress very warmly in layers and uh, maybe go out there during the peak, which is right around the midnight hour.